start to see it on the spot. It's a phenomenal car. I mean, and also, I mean, you got Kraftwerk. You, you, you have, um, what's the other group? Kraftwerk, Autonoise, um, the Dolby. He's from UK, right? Thomas Dolby. Thomas Dolby. Thomas Dolby's from the UK. And I mean, I mean, those those records and, and those artists were uh, totally influential on me. Like, like I still have the records. Like, you're kidding me. I mean, that was the whole movement that was going going down over in Germany, man. And you, you got to pay respect and you got to pay homage to that. So, I mean, Germany, I mean, I love Germany. I love France. I love UK. I love Japan, China. I mean, Germany, I mean, I love Germany. I love France. And to actually be sitting here talking to the man that programmed Planet Rock. Just a cool I mean, that's that's a spooky. Strange coming together. That's a spooky. Because I saw you know I saw you the other night, and I, and I, you know you hear those the beats, and they feel like you know mixture of Eastern music, tabla, tabla, oh, eight oh eight, all those things, drum machines, all, like, all of those, <laughs> like all kinds of all stuff of, together, right? Right, right. And and another funny thing, the four elements. Kenny Muhammad does Planet Rock. So it, it's, it's deep. It's deep in the culture. I mean, those are the things that influence the younger guys. Like you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta recognize that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we really had, we really had to. I mean, from where we're coming from. You know, because like Becky Fresh and 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 Biz and Fat Boy, they pretty much made their mark and they had success, successful records. So it's, being a beatboxer was really hard to compete with a platinum record. You know what I mean? So we had to go back underground and revamp everything that we did, and we had to change our styles. We had to totally change our style. We had to totally go far left. So that's when we, you know, it was one of those you got to go into creative mode. You got to start digging out these records. You got to start listening to all types of drums and you know the Art Blakey's and I mean I mean I mean I mean we can go on for days you know Mantronics is a, a, a big fan you know as far as like hip hop electronics Paul C McCassie I mean the way he engineered and changed the sound of James Brown's drums you know so those things like 
It, it was one of those things that when you, when you were forced to be creative, you couldn't be mundane. I mean, you know, when you, the greatest thing at one point was biz with the people went to, went to, everybody was losing their mind, like, oh, oh, but you had to top that. You couldn't do that. You had to top that. Dougie Fresh is quick. You had to top that. You had to top it. So it's like, you know. History of Beatbox with Raza 101 is how we do it. Peace. Sanford family and I decided to stop them on the street because they look pretty cool and they look pretty in touch with uh, music and hip-hop music and maybe other musics of different kinds uh, you know I, I asked them about beatboxing and their answer was that they do know about it and they do respect it and uh, they don't know too much about it but I wanted to hear some words from them, what they think about it. Like, if it's cool, if it's annoying, if it's something that they can see in the mainstream, uh, you know, music business. You know, the only people beatboxing these days are like Justin Timberlake, uh, uh, Timberland, who uses that. Michael Jackson was an amazing beatboxer. He beatboxed with Quincy Jones to make all his tracks. But I'm talking like a lot. I'll let you go first, sir. No, I think beatbox is pretty cool. Uh, you know, we grew up in Texas, so we were a lot of we were after the fact. But we, uh, Biz Marquis, Rizel, were some of the, the artists that we or that I know uh, that influenced a lot of the music that I eventually started listening to. Cool, cool. And how about yourself? Do you know anything besides uh, the mask? <laughs> it's an orange mask. How about you? Um. I, I heard it before, like, he, like I used to see it, like, on TikTok, YouTube, and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, the up and coming guys. Yeah. I think one day, beatboxing is going to be, like, a fundamental area of study at music schools, because it's really, a class about beatboxing is really not just for people who want to learn how to beatbox, but for other instrumentalists to advance at what they do. Like, if a trumpet player learned how to beatbox, like, it would change the way they played the trumpet. Um, so let's move on to this to the girl. I think beatboxing is very unique because of all like the tunes that can come from 
like the human body or the mouth and with all the vocals and the style. It is very it is very amazing. And let's finish off with the lovely lady. Yes, yeah. So I agree with my daughter. I think beatboxing is so cool because of the fact that a person just creates that music with you know their mouths and yeah. this that yeah. vocality and the instrumentality that you have as a human being yeah. is really cool. And while I don't know a lot about the history of beatboxing, I will say that when I hear it, I am always wanting to dance. <laughs> Well, that's very cool, and uh, a lot of people are like annoyed by beatboxing because they think it's cringeworthy, and a lot of times it is, but beatboxers have to suck before they're great, and uh, hopefully people will have the patience for that, and it'll come more in the mainstream so I can find more work for myself. Yes. Yes. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you guys, and I really appreciate you uh, participating in this, and keep your eye out for the movie Noise and Color, and uh, it's going to be great, and you guys just added to it, so thank you. So much. Yeah. All right. Cool. Bye. Thank you. Thank cool. you. One, one cool thing about beatbox is it, you know, scat came before and then they just scat and expounded on it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I use syllables. Okay. D is the hi hat. Ga is the exhale click snare drum. Um, B U is the bass drum. So if I were gonna be like. Right? Yeah. And if I do uh, triplet syllables, so it's all syllables behind the beats. Yeah. Anyways. I could be taping you. Oh, no, no. They could hear me. I'm not very photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, man. Or whether using, you know, archives 
tapes of different records from the past, you can see it from, it's, it's from different genres of music. So to me, that's what I grew up on. I grew up on listening to R&B. same for the beatbox. It's just a challenge, a, a challenge to challenge yourself, a challenge to progress the art, a challenge yourself for people to take you serious, other genres of music to take you serious, because if you keep doing the same thing, then it becomes child's play. Because, oh yeah, yeah, you know, your brother does that, that. You know, you, I've, I've made a living off of this for over 15 years. Like, this is my career, this is my business. So I'm not talking in vain, you know, I'm not talking in vain, it, it, it comes from my heart, it's like me talking to one of my children, I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm a godfather, Tiger. 
Jason Hobby, Hancock Tune. Cause can you hear my whole rank get killed? Can your whole rank get killed? You're a human beatbox, right? Human beatbox. Just hold it. Hi, my name is Jonathan Minkoff. I'm the founder of Sing Strong Acapella Festival, and I am standing in front of Carnegie Hall, where we just got to perform about a month ago. I am so excited to be here to talk to you, to tell you about Sing Strong and the festivals that we produce and how important that's been for the beatbox community. I can remember when we were struggling to fight the all-male, all-white world of acapella and bring in everything else that makes acapella beautiful and I'm so proud of what acapella looks like today. If you come to Sing Strong, you will hear beatboxers everywhere. Once upon a time, beatboxers weren't even in acapella groups. Now, you can barely find one without one. I'm so excited by everything that beatbox adds. That is noise and color. That, for this art form, is everything. So, come to a Sing Strong Festival. We've had 20 of them in New York, in DC, in Chicago. It's been amazing. We're gonna keep going strong. It's all for charity. And, uh, and we'll see you there, right? You bring what you do. You bring your creativity. Put it on stage. Blow everybody away. And who knows? Maybe end up a kind of Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, let me introduce myself uh, without this accent. My name is Steve Fox. Uh, I represent the uh, CDC. He takes care of business. He makes sure everything runs smooth. Let's talk about the evolution of beatboxing. So, you know, I'm going to let you, uh, you know, send upon that, you know, however you see fit. I mean, basically, um, I just made a couple comments because um, when I can pretty much predict what the next beatbox is going to do, then it becomes a little bit more to me. You know what it is. So, my only thing was to challenge the beatboxers to bring the A game and not just pretty much bring the same game that they see on the internet all the time that they see other beatboxers doing, you know. But at the end of the day, it's also a show to entertain the crowd, you know, and if you have fans of every genre, you as a beatboxer should have that in the back of your mind during the show. So, you know, I, there was a lot of drum and bass, very rarely pointed out on the hip hop, some of them were more mouth drum, some of them were pulling out more sound effects and tricks. So, as a judge, you kind of have to, you know, you think about all of these different things and for the most part, you know what I'm saying, orthodox, I, I think he was a great, he's a great talent and um, he definitely should be recognized, you know, and, you know, and I said that, that, you know, he was dope, everything was clean, it was crisp, um, my only fear was, you know, just that it being the same thing for the next round, not to be arrogant, as most people say I am arrogant, well, you know me very well, I don't believe I come out that way, maybe sometimes the truth may hurt a little bit, but hopefully it'll push you in the right direction, so you understand where I'm coming from, it's not a disrespect at all, it's to challenge yourself, when you go home and say, okay, I can do dubstep, okay, I can do drum and bass, okay, what hip hop records can I do, what R&B records can I do, what country records can I do, what rock records can I do, that's always been my mentality when I was growing up, far as being a big boxer. And I was right now. So, so, I win. Because I'm too the variety. You know, so we just want to say, you know, we're proud to have you as part of the organization for the past three years coming out and giving us your true opinions on what makes a great beatbox. So we're going to keep building this and we want you to continue to be part of it because your thoughts are so important to us. And while they might be controversial, no one would know better than you. Well, at the end of the day, it, it, at the end of the day, it only builds character. So sometimes things will not work out the way we want it to work out. But it's for a reason. Maybe it's for me to look at me and just set my game up the next time. You know, maybe I need to stop doing my research. To be a champion, you have to know all the people that don't know you. You feel me? Like, when I first went to Europe, I mean, people didn't know who I was. Who's Razel? We know about Ducky Fresh, Fat Boys, that's my P, you don't know about Razel. So I have to go over and win people over. To me, that's what a champion is made of. I didn't go with a posse, you know, to make it look like, you know, like, oh my God, who's that guy? You know, he's got the crowd now, you know? <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, to me, to me, it's, it's all, it's all a learning process, you know? And I'm not saying I'm the all the be all, I'm, I'm the God, and what I say is the last word. I mean, you're not the God, just the Godfather. I mean, you know, like, no, I just want people to know, like, look, I mean, it's just my opinion. You can, you can believe what I say, or you don't have to believe it, that's your choice. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to disrespect another beatboxer, none whatsoever. I'm not going to disrespect the box. Because he's a great talent. I'm not going to disrespect Rosemary, but he's a great talent. I'm not going to disrespect Heaven, but he's a great talent. I'm not going to diss J Flow, because he's a great talent. All these guys are great talents. And that's why I support. You know, that's why I support the event. That's why I support the movement. Because a lot of guys have a lot of talent and they're great. And I can see them doing bigger and better things. You know, J Flow, he has a commercial from winning the previous year. So that says a lot. You know, that says a lot about his talent. And just because he didn't win this year doesn't take anything away from him. I 
I mean, like I said before, like I call it how I see it. Maybe some people don't want to hear that. I said maybe you had some other things that's going on because I know I seen the eye of the tiger in you the previous year. This year I don't see it. Absolutely. All right. Well, anyways, I want to wrap this up, and I want to thank again, Mr. Razel, the Godfather of Noise, one of my personal favorite beat, my favorite beatboxer. <laughs> no, that's all right, mate. You have a list. <laughs> no, no, no. He's number one. He's number one. I just love what I do. I love what it's becoming, and I want to see where it's going. You know. So, I mean, this is a message saying, okay. Add something else in there. Come rehearsed. Find your voice. Beatbox and find yourself. Let me be here. We're out. Alright. Hey, it's Hanan Rubenstein. Uh, I'm here in my studio in Fort Lee, New Jersey. And uh, I wanted to talk about Stephen Fox for a little bit. Uh, amazing musician. I've actually known Steve since we were in high school. We used to be bandmates. And, uh, you know, before the whole beatboxing thing, Steve uh, was an animal behind the drum set. I mean, you know, drums, percussion, all that shit. He was amazing. And, uh, you know, he played keys. He, he really put in the time in terms of, of understanding music and, and composition and structure. And so, you know, when I see him beatbox, uh, it's really evident that all those layers are there, and it's not just guy making noises with his mouth, but but there's a depth to it. You know, you can you can sense the time commitment. Um, I, I love watching uh, how he you know he, he dives deeper and deeper and deeper into it, and uh, I'm certainly excited to see what he comes up with next. Uh, yeah, man. Stephen Fox, don't you take no shit from anybody. <laughs> you keep plowing forward, baby.
Cotton in the West, aka Mr. Ballin', who I do it best. Nothing but success. Drinking Heineken's in excess. These Fox Fox are the best. My best, my producer, producer, Alan Tan, and light dress, thick guy with the breast. Loving every minute of this world that we live in. This world that we live in. That we live in. That we live in. Much props to high ceilings, cause like a bird in the bush, it's worth two in the hand. Take the money, pay Sam. Chardonnay just got played. Andre, please have it on a plate. Cheap shit, so we don't have to spend money. Bitches speed balling, hopping around like funny. Please just let me transform. I'm in an intergalactic sandstorm. And on ET phone home, trying to find his way, but he's so dumb. I do whatever I want to. And I like to smoke some marijuana. Cause Razu getting high with Steve Fox. I put that all out of the box. Let's go. Got Yummy over here.
is not just one source so i had to go home and practice each genre of music so when i did battle somebody somebody that was one dimensional was losing we don't need everybody doing it <laughs>
Y'all know who it is, that boy, Harlow's Finest, Eminem, Beatbox Phenomenon, chilling at my man Cherry Barbershop all day. Look out for that album. It's coming, y'all. It's crazy. But if y'all don't know, let me let y'all know it's really good. Check it. Pretty good. Check it. session.
people at this table. Oh, you're right. Any requests? Living life so fly. I'm 
Travel in my spaceship, I'm living life so fly Travel Traveling Just come for the ride, hyper speed uh.
in our originator's most resplendent effort, he has really gone to the end of his cosmic agility to conjure up an impeccable canvas. Included in this glorious set of appointments are eyes that can see millions of colors, hearing that can detect a needle drop to a cosmic blast. We can revisit an odor that flashes all the senses back to a time and place that occurred decades ago. All nerves working in tandem in an effortless dance generated by a single organ known as the brain contained miraculously in the bones of the head forming a vault known as the cranium. In this dark and cavernous containment that features no air and no light, nothing less than consciousness is conjured. And in the most brilliant gesture of finishing touches and high-end luxury appointments, we need only to turn to memory to rerun the trail of our lives. We arrive, live through a myriad of miracles, and then trail off in a puff of smoke. Add to the miracles a montage of storms, tsunami, earthquakes, cancer, malicious dictators, and flawless incantations of genocide, and you begin to see he's always teasing the end, and it's always wrapped in our worst fears and our most unwelcome adversary, pain. There are clues being dropped at every step. Don't get too invested. Life's a stage. What you see is not what you get. All designed for temporary use, stamped with dates of expiration. But we refuse to take it seriously. We bawl tragically at death. We wreck grand funerals. We break down at loss in the emaciation of the body. We build huge mansions, drive fast cars, envy when someone has something bigger, faster, or newer. We resist sad and abrupt endings and stare blankly at the rolling credits, noticing we haven't even been credited. And we've been dropped clues all along. Printed in uppercase bold, told over and over again what's bound to happen. But we refuse to talk about it. We don't like songs or books or theater that linger too long on it. We consider it morbid when others do. And finally, like the day plays we've all become, when the script is finally pulled and the curtain drops and the theater goes blank, we look to each other surprised. We've missed that it's all been erected, stands on shaky ground. Nothing built to last, bound to crumble along with us, and in the ultimate genius invocation of it all, headed to a place that we have no idea about, no one seems to return from, and we're all frightened out of our wits to go to. My name is Richard, and I have uh, stage four squamous cell carcinoma. Just got out of the hospital. So he gave me my life back. I was all the water. So I got my life back, and he gave me my voice back. So I started this uh, TikTok just to get you people to think about some things. And all the people who give their blood, sweat, and tears to be a part of something that only a few people really understand. Yeah, I'd like to thank the viewers and the fans, everybody out there on the flat land. Also, shout out to Ed Nelson, Sherry, and Nathan Mandelbaum. And most of all, I'd like to shout out my own, own, my heavenly father, my creator, and the son of Jesus Christ. My name
How you doing? My name is Shaggy. Check me out. What up? Shaggy, what's up, man? That's a good name. So I'm going around the streets and I'm talking to people and I'm asking what they think about beatboxing or if they know anything about it. Do you? Oh yeah, I know everything about beatboxing. You know, you know everything about it. Started back in 1982, maybe. And, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? From there, you know, we got the Fat Boys, Fat Boys, I'm back. And that's it. And that's it. Oh, yeah. You don't know beatbox, you just don't know street life. Right, right. There's a few more who have been uh, very popular, but hardly any. Now, how many drummers do you know? How many guitarists do you know? How many other instrumentalists do you know? But how many beatboxers do you I know? Already. You know yeah. I mean? like, yeah. Out to the radar. Nobody, everybody's sleeping on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was a working beatboxer for a while. I got to steal gigs from drummers and DJs, and uh, because I'm really fucking good. Okay. If you know what I mean. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'm just making this movie because there are a lot of talented beatboxers out there and uh, I want to be an ambassador and, you know, inform the, the public who are not beatboxers, you know, about, like, the growing trend. Of course. Yeah. You so, know the history behind it. Oh, I know the history behind it very much. In fact, the history of beatboxing really stems from ancient India. Oh, okay. What that the, it's called B-O-L, bowl drumming, and they use syllables to recreate rhythms on the drum set. So like they'd be like, uh, but I have syllables when I beatbox, and they cater to what the drum set's doing, while the Indian, Indian people cater to what the talking drummer, the tabla drummer, is doing. My thing is, so the syllables, you know, are the key for the beatboxing. But uh, you know, just tell your friends and expect the trend to to get oh, yeah, bigger oh, yeah, and bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, we gotta get some beatboxers on the corner. You know? I mean, like, come on, you know, if people can do it, they get it. You know? Right, Bring right. It back. Bring it back. That's right. I got that from someone else too. Yeah, yeah, what was your name oh, again? Yeah, my name is Shaggy. Shaggy. That's oh, the coolest yeah, name. Yeah. Well, you're a good man. I'm glad I got. It's on Twitter. S K H E S. Got you. <laughs> Pleasure. That's cool, me. I keep beatboxing. I will. I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna beatbox until I'm an old man. Huh? I started when I was five years old. I got a cassette of the Fat Boys, and uh, for two for two years, all I did was. I thought I was the best. I was like, hey man, check it out. But that eventually morphed into. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we got to bring this back, man. Everyone's got to bring it back. I want to see a beatboxer top the charts, man. Yeah, keep doing it. You know, the Fat Boys were the only beatbox group besides Bismarck Key and Dougie Fresh yes. to go platinum. Yeah, yeah. And they really focused on the beatboxing. Yeah, of course. Hey, and you haven't really seen it since, so I agree yeah, with yeah, you, man. Yeah, well, I think it's going to circle. Yes, sir. Shaggy, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah.
Listen to me after I do the V-Bot. Nice. On the microphone, we can rock the spot. Listen to me once again after I do the V-Bot. School's in session, I'm about to teach. Listen to me now as I miss my speech. Lesson number one, first right thing. Should say thing to the great my name. The record won't sell because the people won't buy. Chicken like you like chicken I'll fry. Nice. And you did the nice beatbox break. That was yeah. sick, man. I'm glad I stopped you. <laughs> what do you think about like why beatboxing isn't popular anymore when it used to be? Yeah, I don't understand that because they still do the old break dancing. They don't do graffiti no more like we used to do. But beatbox is still down by law. Dega Fresh came out with the beatbox. Prince Mark D came out with the beatbox. The human beatbox. Came out with the big box. But you need to come back in style. Cause big box is still on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like it or not. And big box will always be here. Whether you play it or not. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you interviewed me about big box. And I'm surprised you did that. Okay? And I like that. That's what's up. Can you say your name one more time and shout out to anyone you want? Uh, my name is James Harmon from the Carolinas. I want to holler at everybody. I want everybody to keep beatboxing on the spot. You know what I'm saying? You heard me? I heard, I heard. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you, bro. Likewise. Man. Uh, hi, how are you guys? Can you introduce yourselves? I'm Gerald. Gerald? I'm Anil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. 
Um, the reason why I'm stopping you on the street is because I'm trying to get people's opinions or uh, general knowledge uh, about what people think about the art form of beatboxing or vocal percussion or mouth drumming, which is what I like to call it. Um, okay. But that was as we spoke before I hit the record button. You said you were gonna give me, you were gonna give me some real thoughts. This dog is so cute. Yeah, he is. I when I think about beatboxing, I don't. I think back of Justin Timberlake when he started to stray from in sync and, and started doing beatboxing on the Celebrity album, right? Which was very impressive. It was. I don't feel like I hear it today that much. I hear it in. Pentatonics. Pentatonics has a great beatbox. Yeah. yeah, and I just watched a, a recent video of them, which the beatboxer in that group is very good. But I don't, I don't see it too much. I don't think it's too mainstream. But when I hear it, I'm super impressed with it. I think about the '90s, which we showed me the comeback. The '90s. The 90s. You think about the '90s? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, who knows where it really started and when it really started, but you yeah, know, it wasn't always hip hop. But I got to say that this is gonna, you know, I, I, more videos like this are gonna get the people who are great at beatboxing the attention and gigs that they deserve. So I appreciate you taking. Uh, I'm super impressed, and we heard your sample of beatboxing, really and we were very impressed. Yes. Very good. You guys want to say your names or a shout out anybody? Because uh, this this is gonna be a film, I think. A shout out? I don't really have any. I well, don't you're really a cameo then. You can say your names if you'd like. We did, Gerald. Oh, you Gerald. did, Gerald and, and Neil. Neil, yeah, I always have to get the name good. twice. But you gentlemen, yeah. it was a fine night. It was Thank a pleasure you. Same to you. Okay. Thank see. you. You're welcome. Bye. I really want to go to a beatbox show, but all beatboxes suck. What did you say? I said I want to go to a beatbox show, but all beatboxers suck. Hey, how are you guys doing today? Quick question for you. Do you guys know anything about beatboxing? No. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. What's your name? I'm Luke. Luke? Luke? Yeah. Great. Well, you know, I'm stopping people on the street um, and asking them what their opinions are about beatboxing. Yeah. I'm getting uh, a lot of people who don't know nothing about it. Um, you, you found the right guy. I found, you don't know anything about it either, do you? I don't know. Have you ever heard of the beatboxing before? I have heard of the beatboxing, yeah. <laughs> and do you mind if you if I ask how old you are? You're not a lady. I'm 27. Yeah. 27. I'm 36, so I feel really old. Fair, okay. Well, okay, so I'm going to name a bunch of beatboxers and you tell me if you've ever heard of them before. Okay? Just let's right start. off the bat, nobody. Nobody? Yeah. Alright, then I won't even bother let's, listing them. Yeah, yeah, let's skip that. Stuff. Do you think there's potential for any beatboxer to catch your fancy one yeah, day? Yeah, of course, yeah. I what mean, what kind I, of music do you like? Well, see, that's hard. I don't, I, I mean, I like pop, like I like uh, R&B. What do you like more than music? What do I like more than music? Yeah, like, what do you like to do the best in life? See, this is where I sound like a really boring person. No, you're, you're great. Know. This is great. Um, I like to read books. I like to... <laughs> cool, man. I don't know. I like to go on runs. Do you like to go on what? Runs. Runs? Yeah. Oh. I don't yeah. know. I'm really boring. I'm sorry. No, I'm you're not. Not, as, not like, at all. You know, but... you know, I watch tons of beatbox videos and I get bored myself. Oh, fair enough. So, uh, I mean, yeah. Just give your name and a shout out to anyone if you'd like and we'll end it. I'm Luke and I'm giving a shout out to Fabrizio and my mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> all right, oh, I got. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you. <laughs> all right. Bye. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing, sir? What's your name? What's up, man? It's your boy, Space Man, man. Space Man? Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to let you talk for a little bit. All right. So, yeah, man, I mean, the big boxing is just underappreciated in today's society, man. It's like, it's a part of hip hop, it's a part of like freestyle rock. Uh, creativity. Not too many people can do it. I mean, some people think they can, but you know, there's actual beatboxers out here that can play an entire drum set just with their lips and their tongue paws. So, I mean, you know, it's definitely a gift that's underappreciated. Yeah, I agree with you, man. So I appreciate your aspect, and you know, 
That's true. Everything you say is what I've been saying. So. No, nah, yeah, absolutely, bro. Anyways, uh, I don't want to take much more of your time, but I appreciate your words, bro. For sure, bro. Hey, you want to say your name one more time and shout out anyone you want? Uh, yeah, man. It's your boy Space Man, man. We're locked in out here in New York, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too, bro. All right. All right. Peace. Here we go. Like, like my man over here said, peace of love to all the beatboxers out there, you know. Bring it back. We miss y'all. You know what I'm saying? The game miss y'all. Bring it back, y'all. All right? Okay, you know what? I feel like there's such a stigma on this beatboxing thing. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, only guys are interested in it. Uh -huh. Only guys are showing up to show. It's not true, but baby. No, it's no. not true. I'm into beatboxing. She's into beatboxing. I love it. There's a whole nother world that's into beatboxing. And, it's, and just, it's, it's not just men. It's beyond the men. It's everybody. And that's what needs to change. There needs to be... Everybody's involved in it. I just it. want a sexy beatboxer. That's what I'm saying, that's baby. It. If my boyfriend was a beatboxer, I would be all over it. I'm having kids instantly. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, we love a good sexy beatboxer, baby. So... That's what's up. Let okay. us know. I will let you know. Can you just say your names if you'd like and shout out anybody? Hannah Florea and... And a shout out to my dad, George Florea, for making yes. this all happen this trip. I'm Lola Florea. Yes. This is so don't, good. Don't pop her in here. Yeah, no. I'm no. Lola Listen, Florea. We got a little <laughs> corny husky sister. over here, and he loves beatboxing. He loves beatboxing music. Oh, yeah. You don't? I, I beatbox for him all the time. Aww. And you know what? And if you don't, What's up? You're in the wrong channel, baby. That's, That's right. your prerogative, baby. But guess what? Only hot girls love beatboxing. So if you're not hot, then you can get away, baby. Okay, anybody right. can get into it. All right, love you all, baby. Bye. Bye. There you go. <laughs> oh, you just you just got a good drink, though. Ready? Wait. Check it out. <laughs> um, I'm about to go to the W. Hey! Y'all don't want to know. Even want to know what it do? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! This is who we need here on these streets. <laughs> yeah. Keep them clean, baby, and keep that fucking shit up. Yeah, baby. We, we love, love that. Right, we, love you. White, white love we love you. We love you, and We love you too. Right. Hi, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ishmael. Can you give me a quick thought about what you think about beatboxing? I don't like. It. You don't like it? No, I just don't like it. Why don't you like it? I don't like it. That's fine. I'll accept that answer. Yes. You're a good man. Thank you for your honesty. All right, All right. bye. Hey, uh, hey, I'm Raphael. Uh, I do uh, uh, Twitch streaming. I'm also a videographer. Uh, I shoot with the Sony a7 III. Uh, this is my first time in uh, New York City. Uh, I just ran into this beatbox. I just want to say he's really dope. I really like this guy. Uh, he just uh, did a freestyle on us uh, just right now, and he was pretty dope, man. Like one of my best friends right here. She just did a dope uh, freestyle over it, and. Uh, yeah, man, like, it was pretty dope. Um, Thank you, man. Yeah, man, hey, uh, if you guys uh, just watching this dude up, like, he's, he's fire, man. Like, uh, like and subscribe for real. Like, he's a real deal. He, he likes uh, pretzels and, uh, yeah, man, like, whatever. He's a real deal. Like, Thanks, check him out. Bro, I appreciate it, man. I'm happy, man. Buddy? Yeah, what's up? What's your name? Major. Major? Yeah, what's up, buddy? Yeah, let me ask you a question, Major. Okay. Um, the world doesn't know too much about beatboxing, does it? Nah, I don't. I wouldn't recommend, no, no, no. You wouldn't recommend? Why wouldn't you recommend? No, I would recommend, but I'm just saying about people that I don't feel like they know too much about beatboxing. That's true. I agree with you. I mean, the younger beatboxers don't know who the originators are. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that's, that's from the sand. Yeah. Yeah. Are Even before any... all this all this creating stuff, I guess I don't know what you want to call it. The technology and everything like that. You know, I had to come from somewhere, so you know. Uh, yeah, I mean yeah. people say it came from ancient India. Who knows where it came from? The human beings have been here for so long. They say it started in the late seventies, early eighties in the Bronx. Right. Um but now you have people doing it all over the world. And That's there's, dope, there's competitions and 
I wanted to get a class at Juilliard about beatboxing, you know? Okay. A class at all the most prestigious music schools. Because the word beatbox is affiliated with hip-hop music. So it actually puts it in a box. You know, I can do any genre. I can do reggae, I can do rock and roll, I can do heavy metal, I can do hip-hop, I can do drum and bass. You know, it doesn't matter. It's Good. Just a, yeah, I can do it. It's just... Um, you know what's so crazy? What's when, I, when I think of beatbox, I think it just basic sounds Me too. like beyond beyond like matter of fact let me not say beyond i feel like below technology and everything like that i just feel like it's just like it's not too much you could do as far as like when you go with technology and everything like that you'd be surprised what some people can do with a microphone man have you ever heard of um biz marquee Oh no, of course. Hell yeah, yeah. he just course. recently passed. Hell yeah, no. Yo, do yourself yeah. a favor and check out some Rozelle videos because he's the legend, man. He's okay. the he's okay. the goat. Right, and right. what's your name? If you don't mind. My name Major, bro. Major, you said that already. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate your major opinions, bro. Nah, definitely. I'm All smack right. right now, but <laughs> I had to get a what's the name of my fellow New Yorkie. <laughs> oh, you want to do some shout outs? Oh, no, nah, shout outs to you, bro. Shout outs to you for coming out here, grinding, doing what you're supposed to do, bro. Making increasing your craft and everything like that. I hope you go far with it, bro. All right, Major. Bro. It's a pleasure to meet you, bro. Definitely. All right. Yeah. My name's Alexa. I think beatboxing is pretty cool. <laughs> Hi, my name's Selena. I think the same thing. <laughs> Yeah. Do cool. it more. Would do you? it right now. Me? Yeah. Do it right yeah. now. Do it right yeah. now. I don't know, man. Okay. Go ahead. My no mouth pressure. is dry, no but uh. That's okay. Let's hear it. We're I, on part two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. Thanks for talking to me, and uh, go out and listen to some more beatboxers, and check out the uh, 2013 American Beatbox Championships on YouTube. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well. And, and subscribe it. to the channel. Subs is this subscribe. Channel? Subscribe. To subscribe. To what channel? To your channel. Is this channel? Right. Is this a channel? No, I'm making a movie. Oh, oh. So watch, watch the movie. movie. Watch the movie. If this gets in the preview, watch, watch the movie. movie. Watch the good movie. movie. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you they so much, said. guys. Of course. Have a good night. Have a good night.
Space whip faded off a of unconventional antics with her fake tits. Oh, <laughs> 
Nips is a pretty good name for a band. Yeah, especially Japanese girls. Girls who are also Nips. <laughs> <laughs> like that was the term for uh, Japanese people in World War II. Nips? They call them Nips. Is beatboxing important? Beatboxing is totally important. Using your mouth, making the rhythm, being able to communicate with others. It's basic, basic. Steve Fox is the best beatboxer ever! 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 Fox, the beatbox, is the one who showed me that beatboxing is a serious instrument. When you've got a real sick beatboxer in your court, you're always going to make an impression. You don't need a drum set, or a DJ, or a djembe. Beatbox is the full drumming package in one human mouth. My name is Andy Reiner, and I played the fiddle in a band with Steve Fox called Fiddle Fox. I was the fiddle and the fox. Nobody sounded like us before, and nobody sounded like us since. We started as a duo and recorded a full album, UFO. I was super impressed by Steve's ability to edit in Pro Tools without a metronome. We added a guitar, Stash Weisslouch, an electric bass, Ed and Marion for some shows and our second record, Invasion. We we're always planning on recording the third in the trilogy, Earth. UFO Invasion Earth. Hasn't happened yet, but we ain't dead yet. As a string player who cares not just about melodies, but rhythms, especially rhythms, Steve Fox always held me to a higher standard of rhythm, so my understanding of rhythm is forever changed from my time recording and touring with a virtuosic beatboxer. Even though we don't live in the same city right now, my life is better knowing that Steve Fox the Beatbox is out there. I can call him anytime I need the magical and life-changing sounds of the human beatbox. Hello, my name is Yuri Bachelain, and I've been beatboxing since 1982. Beatbox? is a universal rhythmic language that everybody can understand. You could be in the Sinai Desert in Egypt, and you can beatbox. They may not understand English, but they understand the language of rhythm. I started beatboxing in math class because 
well, my inability to do fractions. And so I started, that was my first beatbox. And I just have never stopped beatboxing. Uh, alongside beatboxing, I became a professional actor at the age of 11 years old. And beatboxing and acting are so closely related because when you're beatboxing, it's spontaneous. It's like jazz, you're thinking of beatbox and that moment comes all at once. And I've been doing solo beatbox plays for the past 20 years. And each character in my show has their own individual soundtrack, their own rhythm, their own beat. And beatbox is of course part of the vocal canon. It's one of the elements of hip hop. So when we go back to the beginning of the oral tradition, People have been beatboxing for thousands of years. They would call it something different, but now we have a name for it, and it's beatbox. Beatbox is the first drum machine. So cats in the streets of Brooklyn and in Los Angeles and in San Francisco, where I am right now, they would try to emulate the sounds of the beatbox. So right now, I'm an OG beatbox. And I've been mentoring different beatboxers and hip hop artists for the past 10 years. What's the future of beatbox? Well, I never thought that it would become this worldwide phenomenon, but it is. There are beatboxers all over the world. There are competitions, which are very different than performing because a com competition is about trying to be better and to better somebody else. And so even though I respect the, the, the act of competing, beatbox is music. And so you can create everything that you want to express with your lips, your teeth, your tongue, your diaphragm. To be a great beatboxer, you have to be a great listener, to listen to the world around you. And that's what inspires me to continue to beatbox. Now, people know me all around the world for the beatbox harmonica. So that's how I have been able to separate myself from other beatboxers. But I'm an actor. I'm a beatboxer, a harmonica player. And I have had that ability and I've been blessed to combine all those things to do these one person shows. And in being involved in the hip hop theater movement, going back to 1999, and the person who's filming this right now, Carlos, is one of those originators of beatbox theater and beatbox. And so I feel blessed to be able to express myself through this art form. And I want to say one other thing about beatbox. It's free. You don't need any money. All you need is imagination and a sense of rhythm. Of course, having a microphone takes your beatbox to a whole other level. But the beauty of it is it's a portable machine inside of you that you can break out at any moment, any part of the day. And so beatbox has an incredible future and I want to make sure that people understand that it comes from hip hop. And you can beatbox any type of genre of music. But we need to know, and we need to let these young cats know, that beatbox is about hip-hop, that hip-hop beat. And so hopefully the new generation of beatboxers will continue to learn from the innovators and to learn from the teachers and to continue to further the art form in a way that the next generation can be inspired. Another thing is, it doesn't matter what gender you are, it doesn't matter what color you are, all that matters is that your love for the human voice. And beatbox is all about the human voice. So big ups to you, Steven, for making this documentary happen. And all I have to say is, Peace and beatbox. My name is Freddie Feldman. I'm an inventor, record producer, musician, and beatboxer. 
I was touring with an acapella group in the late 90s as their vocal percussionist and I was having trouble being heard on stage over the other singers um, and came up with this idea to strap a mic to my throat uh, and I made a throat microphone called The Thumper. I have sold it to beatboxers and vocal percussionists all around the world. It was on TV shows like uh, America's Got Talent and Sing Off China. Um, and it was just a really cool way to connect with other musicians by making a unique device that could help improve their performance and bring it to that next level. What's up? This is Cello Joe for Noise and Color.
the bruschetta. <laughs>
breaks, full break, this is a full full break, 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 full break, this is a full full break,